Yes guys, how are we doing and welcome back to another YouTube video. So in today's video, I'm going to go through a 10 minute lower body mobility routine. A bit of a tongue twister, that one. Um, in today's video, it's going to be a mixture of mobility exercises and uh, some stretches as well. I'm going to be focusing on the glutes, the hamstrings, the quads, hip flexors. I'm also going to start off with the ankles as well. If you do enjoy this style of video, hit that subscribe button because next week I'm going to be doing an upper body mobility routine for you to try. Very similar to this one. So let's go straight into it. What we're going to start off with, we're going to start off with a free way dorsiflexion stretch. So what we're going to do, we're going to put one foot in front of the other. And when I say free way, we're going to go three different ways in terms of we're going to go front, all the way back, we're going to go all the way to the sides, and then to the other side. The most important thing with this stretch, guys, is you keep your foot into the ground so when you go outwards, you don't bring it off the ground at all. So what we're going to do, we're going to do five, lots of them, we're going to go three ways, and then five, and then obviously then switch. So we're going to do one set of everything. So I'm just going to go stretch, slight pause at the bottom, all the way to one side, and then all the way to the other, and back again. So what we're doing here, we're just increasing that range of motion in the ankle joint. So this is gonna be fantastic for when we do some squats. Two more there. So big stretch, nothing too crazy. What you'll see in some of these, um, what you'll see in some of these actual mobility exercises is we're not going to go too over the top. Even if you feel you can go all the way um, past what we kind of go for, go through. It's just the fact if you go too far, you're actually going past the range of motion. So then just switch legs. I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side. So big stretch, slight pause at the bottom, keeping that foot in the ground. You can kind of scrunch up a little bit if you wanted to. Cool, let's go for two more. So big stretch. What you'll tend to find with some of these mobility exercises is you'll have a foot or a leg that's gonna be slightly stronger than the other side. Let's go straight into our next one. It's very similar to our first one, but we're gonna focus on a little bit of hip flexors now. So we're gonna go into a knee and hip flexor stretch. What you're gonna do is you can put one foot in front of the other, and this time what you, what you wanna do, and hold onto something if you can uh, lose your balance easily, is we're gonna grab this foot. Again, we're not gonna yank at the ankle. I'm just gonna hold that position I'm going to hold it for 10 to 15 seconds for today. So you're going to feel that big stretch. You also feel your quad a little bit and straight into the hip flexors. Five seconds. And switch. So same again on the other side. Deep breath in and then big stretch like so. If you are enjoying this mobility routine, guys, hit that like button. Five, three, two, one, fantastic, good. So what you can always do with some of these stretches and these exercises, you can do more than one set, but just for today, I'm just gonna do purely one set of everything. So we're gonna go into a little bit of adductors now. So <clears throat> in, the mid uh, in the inside part of your leg, we're gonna go onto all fours. In this position, you probably know this position when you do like a kind of cat cow as such. But what we're actually going to do is we're going to stick one leg out to the side. We try and keep it as straight as possible. And what we're going to do from that position, this is our position A. And then we're going to rock down. You're going to feel a stretch in the inside of your leg. And then we're going to come all the way up. Make sure you try and keep that back nice and straight so we're not rounding like so. We're just keeping it nice and straight keeping all the tension and the stretch in the inside of our leg. If we do 10 on one side, and then we're gonna do 10 on the lover. Three more there. Last two, and one more. 
fantastic. So, same again on the other side. Back into the all fours. Stretch that leg out. All the way down and back up. Good guys. So going down as if you're about to sit down and then driving back up. Keep that leg fully extended. Final few. Fantastic, nice, good. If you feel that that stretch is a little bit too much, what you could always do to start off with, you can just get used to putting your foot out in that position and just going down because some people I know for sure have got very tight adductors. And of course, this is what this mobility, is, uh, mobility routine is all about. It's trying to kind of push that range of motion. So when you do exercises like squats and deadlifts and other range of um, exercises at the gym, it's not going to feel as tight. We're going to go into our last exercise, which is a lying glute stretch. So we're going to go onto our back this time. And what we're going to do, we're going to put one foot over the other. The leg that's actually on the ground at the moment, we're going to just bring up into the air. We're going to put our hands just under our knee. We're going to sit back and we're just going to pull just to add a little bit of pressure. And we're going to pull it in towards our stomach. So you should feel the stretch on the left glute. That's if your leg, left leg is the one that's crossed over. So we're just going to hold that for 15 seconds. Make sure your leg doesn't go too far straight or too far down. Just try and point it completely straight on. Three, two, one, and switch. Same again on the other side. And just hold that position, guys. As well, try not to have your head too far up because you can put a bit of tension in the back of your neck. Just hold that position, control that breathing for another five, four, three, two, one. Fantastic, so that is the first part of the mobility routine done. I hope you're enjoying this video. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Videos coming every single week. Let's go into part two. Okay, so for this second part, one of the exercises we are gonna be using are bands. If you haven't got bands, you can use your hands instead, which I'll show you, but that's not gonna be the first exercise because we're gonna keep with uh, the kind of adductor and hip flex area because what we're gonna do in this position, we're gonna go and put our feet together. I'm just gonna stretch all the way out and you're gonna feel it in your adductors. I'm just gonna hold that position, try and keep your back nice and straight, hold it for 15 seconds. As the time goes on, you're gonna feel a deeper and deeper stretch. In three, two, one, and relax, perfect. What's quite a good stretch for that one is kind of like the child's pose, where I know it's working slightly different areas, but just stretching out like so. It gets used to your kind of a uh, little bit of pressure in the adductors. So for this one, remember, just put your feet together start in this upright position and then stretch all the way out like so. What I've been trying to do whilst we've been at home is really trying to work on my mobility. So when I go to the gym, um, hopefully a lot of exercises are gonna feel really, really good. And I know a lot of you guys at home as well have been working on your mobility. So let's grab the band now, because we're gonna go onto hamstrings. So we're gonna do a banded line hamstring stretch and what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop the band in the mid section of our foot. We're gonna lay back. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna fully extend our leg in the air. And we're just gonna use this band for a little bit of tension just to bring it towards sort of the mid section. Make sure again, you're not pulling it all the way out here because you're probably overextending. You just want enough tension in the hamstrings. So just passing it, um, going past the range of motion. And we're gonna hold three, two, one, slowly relax. And we're gonna do the same again with the other side, 15 seconds, and then hold that position. So as I was saying, making sure we're not going past that range of motion, 
just a little bit to real fit, really feel that deep stretch on the back of your leg. We're going to hold that for five, three, two, one, slowly bring it down. We're actually going to stay with hamstrings because we're going to go into an active leg raise. This is going to be more of a mobility exercise. And what we're going to do is we're going to go and turn our toe upwards and we're going to bring it all the way up like so. So you're going to feel uh, a nice amount of tension in the back of your legs all the way down. Relax the toe, point it back up and all the way up like so. Relax, relax the toe, point it up and then back up we go. So we're going to do 10 reps of those. This is rep four. We want that slight pause at the top. Again, if we're trying to extend it too much, our knee's just going to be bent a little bit too much, like so. So make sure in this whole part where we're going all the way up and all the way down, we're keeping our toe pointed up, only relax at the bottom part of the movement. Last one. Good guys, well done. So, same again on the other side. And relax that toe. Same again. So we've just got one more stretch after this and we're gonna go straight into the quads. Halfway, five more. So what I suggest for mobility guys is don't just do it sort of one time a week. You know, try and hit it, you know, every other day, every day if you can, different kind of body parts to really help with your performance in and outside the gym. I'm gonna do one more. Fantastic, nice, good and relax. So you're gonna feel actually like you've kind of just worked your hamstrings after doing those two, which is what it's all about. So we're gonna go into our last one, which is actually kind of in this position right now. And this is gonna be a quad stretch. So what we're gonna be doing, and as I've kind of said with the other ones, is we're not going past that full range of motion where it's actually gonna to lead to injury. So all we're gonna do is we're just gonna lean back like so. So of course you can just hold that position but what you can do is you can go further and further back and then hold that position. Make sure you're not rocking or you're leaning too far back that you're gonna fall over or too much, too far back that you're gonna feel in your lower back. So all we're gonna do, we're gonna hold it for 15 seconds. We're gonna take a deep breath in and then we're gonna go all the way back, lean and back into that position, pop your hands to the sides and you'll feel that stretch. So within five seconds, that's where the stretch really, really burns. We're going to hold it for five, two, one, and relax. Perfect. Amazing, guys. So that is my 10-minute lower body uh, mobility ro uh, routine with active mobility stretches uh, and normal kind of stretches as well. So I hope you enjoyed today's YouTube video, and I'll see you next week for upper mobility.